Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create a parametric table with Luplex. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a new family. Look for metric generic model. Click open. We're going to create some reference line. We're going to put dimensions in another dimension. Don't forget to hit EQ and then add one more dimension so that we could label it. So we could label this as an instant and then we could put table width and then for this one table depth. So after that, click create and we're going to make some extrusion. Lock everything. And then click finish. Let's go to our front elevation. So here we're just going to create another reference plane and then we're going to put a measurement and we're going to label that so this will be the table height press ok and then Let's lock it in place there. We're going to add another reference plane. This has 50. Lock it in place after you align it. And then let's lock it to the top reference plane because this one is the one who's going to move. And in order for this one to maintain its size or its thickness, you will need to lock it. So now let's go to our let's go to family type and check out the height. So now let's put in 760 for the height. Apply and it looks good. It maintained the 50 because we locked it and it went down 760. Let's go to our floor plan and let's try and change the depth and width. So for the depth, I'm going to put 1050 and for the width, let's go with 1800. Apply 
and as you can see it changes as well so for the work surface we're good so the table work surface we're good we need to create the loop length so here I'm gonna go to left reference plane and then let's create some more reference plane right here so now let's hit that reference plane and I want it to be 25 millimeters then here 25 millimeters and then let's create one more for the thickness here so reference plane 25 so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an extrusion locked it and then create another one and locked it again so before So before we go to our reference level, we should lock this to the ones to the top reference plane. It's because you want it to move as well when we're flexing. And we want to keep that distance. Also, this let's lock it. Locked, and also let's lock here. We could try it and see if it will, if there's problem. So I put 900 and it, it turned out it changed. So let's put it back 760 and let's go to, our, to the reference, to the floor plan. So now here we're going to add a reference line again. So we're going to add one here. Oops. So let's add here. Let's add here. And for the thickness, I'm going to go 25 as well. And here, 25 as well. We can always ch change that dimension if we think that it's too small so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it and then I'm gonna lock it on that and stretch it again and lock it there next I'm gonna click on that and then I want to mirror it on the other side But before that, let's move it again and then let's lock it.
so now the only thing that we need to do is double check it first and let's put a material parameter after so here let's see two thousand one thousand and then for the width let's try two thousand five hundred so the thickness here is changing as well so we could double check on that let's just Back everything 150, 760, and then 1800. So, here I forgot to lock it here in place. So, this one will change, and this one. So we need to lock it so that it will move as well. So let's see, let's see it again. Twenty five hundred. Hit apply, and you change. So I'm happy with that. Once finish this. We're going to add material parameters. So I highlight both of them. So I click on the legs and then hold on control and click the other one as well. Go to associate parameter family parameter under materials and click this area. And then let's put it as an instant. And leg finish. Press OK. And then let's highlight the work surface. So let's highlight the work surface and let's see for the material parameter. And then this one should be work surface finish. Press OK. By the way, I'm I'm just gonna double check the depth. So ten fifty, let's create two thousand. And then I wanna see if the leg maintains so it looks like it maintains so we're good I'm gonna put it back 1050 and lastly let's load it to our to a project so new project scroll back and load this and here once we click this we can change the leg finish the work surface finish and the depths here and height and width so just for an example let's add in some something black something metal okay apply And then how 
about the work surface. Let's apply some a wood. Try perch. And as you can see, it changes as well. The wood and the metal that we chose. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.